I figured I'd share a little bit because uh, I'm, what the hell, I got nothing better to do. So the other day, um, I went to go start my car and uh, it started, but then all of a sudden I was driving and the lights got really dim. So I didn't know if it was my battery or my alternator. So got stuck, finally got a hold of somebody to give me a ride. And um, yeah, the, uh, the alternator went. So as I was putting in my new alternator, um, I replaced my battery too because it's, it was old and I figured I got the money, get it done, you know, so I don't have any future issues. So then I was, as I was replacing the alternator, um, as I was, uh, adjust, you know, getting the belt off and adjusting it, um, you know, taking the, uh, belt tensioner, um, my breaker bar slipped and then smashed into the, uh, into my upper hose from a radiator which cracked it right here around the edge so it made it useless to say the least um i did have a small crack previous like right over here somewhere and it was you know leaking a little bit but manageable you know but yeah this this kind of you know sealed its fate to say so i went and finally got the new radiator and stuff so you know i'm throwing that in yay fuck my life but you know at least i'm mechanically inclined to do so some people have to spend a lot of extra money to get this shit done, and I'm thankful that my father taught me when I was young how to work on a car, and everything else is kind of, you know, easy. After you've learned a couple things, everything else, you're unsure, how-to video, bang, you got it, as long as you got the tools. But I also like to touch base on a little bit about this election, and uh, now that Trump's in office, well, he's the elected president, he hasn't been inaugurated yet, but um, I'd like to just say a couple things on it. Um... Hillary was a criminal. She lied. She cheated. She she stole. She probably, in every right, had some people murdered. Um, so I don't know why all these demo, you know, all these people are crying and stuff on the, you know, on the over the election and stuff. You know what? I never understood the electro uh, the electoral college, but I understand it now because the people so voted with their emotions and not their head this time around. Yes, Trump does say some pretty unfiltered stuff. But if we didn't live in a society that people just let things get to them, we wouldn't be having this conversation. You know, whatever happened to the saying, sticks and stones may break, break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Whatever happened to that? Why don't kids, like, understand that anymore? You know, it's just ridiculous how, you know, if somebody calls somebody something, oh my God, you know what? It's like, who gives a shit? You know who you are. Your friends know who you are. Your, your parents and your brothers and sisters know who you are. So why does it matter? You know, and that's why this whole social justice movement is more harmful than good. And as far as the immigration policies go, our border is like Swiss fucking cheese. And it's about time it gets tightened the fuck up. And especially with all these terrorist acts coming through, because let's face it, the last, uh, at the end of, you know, between Bush and the last uh, administration, they fucking funded these terrorists. They called them the Free Syrian Army. Let's call them for what they are. They are ISIS. And, you know, with the the border being as Swiss cheese as it is, I'm fucking pissed off that we haven't done more to keep these people out. I'm like 43 years old, and I want to tell you, when I was 14 years old, I was washing dishes at a restaurant in my town. Kids today, they don't fucking work. They just sit on their asses because mommy and daddy lets them. I spent my summers chopping and stacking wood. You know, let's get real. Our kids, we, us as parents, have turned our kids into pussies. And that's why people act the, the way they do today. Because they're little whiny crybabies that never fucking had to earn or work a day in their life and expect everything to be fucking handed to them. Time to fucking put your big boy pants on, roll up your fucking sleeves, and start doing something productive for this country. Like, I don't know, keeping the middle class alive and not letting illegal immigrants come over here and take all the jobs that we used to have as children. There. I fucking, I sat there, I bitched. That's my opinion. Fucking nut up and fucking put your big boy pants on and fucking get over it and go get a fucking job.